We're making our protein shake this morning with two tablespoons of peanut butter because it's the first Monday of the work year and we deserve that. Hey guys, happy January 4th. If you want the recipe for this chocolate peanut butter banana protein shake, I posted it a couple days ago. At that time, I had forgotten to buy a new bag of cacao nibs, but I have since purchased them and will be adding just a little bit to give my shake a little bit of texture. So like I mentioned, these don't taste like chocolate chips. They're pure cacao. Uh, which means they have zero grams of sugar. So it's to give the illusion of chocolate chips. It gives you the texture. I would not recommend biting into them because they are very, what's the word? They're not sweet. They're very um, tart, but they do, when you drink them with a big straw, they do kind of feel like you're drinking chocolate chips. <laughs> not that this needs chocolate chips because it does have chocolate protein powder, but it's just kind of fun. I don't know. I like the texture. Okay, I just decided I'm turning this video into a what I eat in the day. So let me show you my snack. Okay, it is now 11.02 in the morning. I just finished a coffee, moving on to water, and I'm also having a snack. So I'm having two string cheeses. And I've also got one Kit Kat and two Kit Kats here to help me get some work done. Hey guys, okay, it is now almost one o'clock and I'm about to have some lunch. Doesn't look super appetizing, but it is going to be. Since I had a shake for breakfast and I was kind of craving breakfasty foods, I'm doing breakfast for lunch. This is a, a whole wheat bagel topped with a little bit of chive cream cheese and two sunny side up eggs with a little bit of pepper and onion powder. Very excited about this. Benny, are you ready to leave the office? The meeting's over? Watch him, he can open the door himself, he will. You gonna open those doors yourself? Where are you going, Ben? Bye. It was nice meeting with you. So you guys know I'm obsessed with my office, but one thing that's been missing is a lighting fixture, and it just arrived. Okay, here it is. So everything in my office has gold hardware, so of course this had to have gold hardware. I'm super excited to get this up. I've been waiting for this to arrive for so long. Okay, so as you can see, Ricky has arrived. He's just gonna hop right up there and hook up my new lighting fixture. Thank you, Ricky. It's up. I have to get another light bulb because I only have one, but and it takes two, but I love it. I think it looks amazing. Thank you, Ricky. You did a really great job. I see that you're uh, just cleaning up your workspace there. <laughs> Let me have that. Silly boy. Thank you. Hey guys, okay, so it is now 6 p.m. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. 6 p.m. Uh, and I'm getting ready to make dinner. So I'm using my Instant Pot Six Ingredients or Less cookbook and I'm going to be making these right here which are barbecue chicken stuffed sweet potatoes. This recipe is super simple, I've made it before. You literally just take four sweet potatoes, small sweet potatoes, a pound of chicken, and a cup of barbecue sauce, and pretty much put it into the pressure cooker for 18 minutes and you're done. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so maybe it doesn't look exactly like the picture, but I've already tasted a little bit of this and it tastes amazing. Hey guys, just finished dinner. It was amazing. I ended up having one and a half of the sweet potatoes, generous helping of the chicken, delicious chef's kiss. Um, could have definitely added a green to all of my meals today. I realized when I was looking back on this, I didn't really have any fruits or green vegetables. So we're gonna call today healthy-ish. <laughs> it wasn't a total bust, but it wasn't, it wasn't my best day ever. 
Um, anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.